So in this lecture, we're going to talk about pipes and redirects. Uh, this is really where we're the first time within the Unix operating system we can begin to string commands together uh, to create useful um, workflows. And in fact, what we're doing here is sort of writing small programs. It's just the programs will be written on the command line itself. Uh, this is done by, you know, piping or redirecting the output of one file uh, or application into another. And so we'll look at a few examples here. The first thing is redirection, which we've already seen a little bit, but we didn't introduce it formally. The redirection symbol is, of course, the, uh, you can think of it like an arrow. It, it's the uh, greater than or less than sign. You can think of it like an arrow, so that the output of one thing is going into another. And so the simplest thing here is just to output, um, uh, for example, we could list what's in uh, the applications in user bin, and we can redirect them into a file uh, that we'll call, say, ls.out. And so we have a file, ls.out, that we could look at with, uh, say, cat, or probably better would look at with an application like less so that we could search it. So we could search this file. Of course, these are all the applications in user bin. Uh, so <clears throat> one that might, you know, we might be interested in finding would be the editor Vi, for example. And so we can search for it. Um, yeah, so there eventually we, we come to the editor Vi. Uh, we can get out of it ls now the single arrow or uh, the single uh, greater than sign will overwrite the contents of a file whereas the double arrow as shown here or the, the double greater than sign will uh, append the output to the to the back of the file so uh, you know if we had a larger search tree for example if we wanted to list uh, what's in user s bin, uh, which you can see there, if we wanted to then append that to the output of our ls dot uh, out file, then we could look at that ls dot out and we could find something in there like uh, mysql d or something right <clears throat> additionally, we can have redirects other than uh, what we call standard in. Well, standard in uh, is basically in in the Unix command line terminology. Standard in represents the command line itself, the input. Uh, standard out is the output to the screen. And there's also standard error, which we'll talk about in just a second. Um, but we can uh, use redirects from standard in uh, into applications. And so. Um, what we'll do here is we'll write a, a little program. It's really a toy program because you'd, you'd never probably write a program like this. But what we're going to do is we're going to echo a, a statement. So that statement uh, is simply going to be print hello world. And of course, if we enter that, then we're just going to echo that back to the screen. Okay. Uh, of course, this is a Python command for uh, hello world. So what we could then do is redirect the output of this to a file. Now we can call that file hello.py. And then using and and, this is how you can string multiple commands together on the Unix uh, command line. So what's before the and, the ampersand signs there is one single command and then we're going to follow that up with a second command so the second command is going to be Python itself and we're going to redirect now um, the file hello.py uh, into Python uh, with the uh, less than sign there and so with that it actually runs the Python command you know it runs the Python application on uh, the hello.py file that we created with the with the echo statement. So it's a little convoluted, but it's just another application of using the redirect there. Uh, and in this case, we actually used it to write a small Python program. Uh, so again, there are three standard input output file descriptors in Unix. 
standard in. Um, we use zero and we use the um, uh, less than sign for that. Uh, standard out, which is what we typically would use, is one and we use the greater than sign for that. And uh, finally then standard error is two. And it's most often useful to direct the output of files to, to what we call nowhere. So uh, there is a device called null, which is essentially like a trash can on the Unix machine. And this uh, two uh, with the greater than sign implies that we want to redirect to two, which is standard error, uh, the output of uh, this previous command, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, so we're going to redirect the output of this command uh, basically to nowhere. So we're going to take the errors and send them to the trash can. Okay. So again, uh, the standard redirect that we've used many times uh, now is one, and, and to just simply use the, great, the greater than sign is identically to say in one greater than. So typically when you use one or even zero, uh, we don't specify, but when we want to redirect the error only is when we'll use this. And again, this is easily uh, illustrated with an example. Okay, so let's let's look at an example. And I'm going to use the find command, which we haven't learned yet, but we'll, we'll, we will soon. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to search the root file system for any application named ls. Right? And so this is going to search the entire file system tree and the search is going to lead into places that we don't have permission actually as a user to look into and so we're going to get errors we're going to get uh, standard errors and you'll see those errors show up as permission de denied symbols so you see many there is running I, I went ahead and canceled the input but all of these permission denied are errors because we don't have uh, permission as, as this user to actually ls or to to look into these locations and so what we can do is we can redirect the errors only. So we want to keep the good output and redirect the errors only. So that's two and the redirect symbol into device null, which is essentially the trash can, right? And so we're going to send all those errors to the trash can to, to avoid having to look at them in our output. And so then when we do that, you can see there's no board permission denied errors because they're not being reported as all these are sent to the screen. And so those are all the applications ls in the root file system that we have access to. So that's most commonly how that's used. So pipes are a way to create small programs. So as the name implies, a pipe will take the input of one command, or I'm sorry, the output of one command, and pipe it into the input of another command. So previously, we... Uh, redirected the output of ls to a file and then we used less to search that file. Well we could have just skipped the, 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 the intermediate file and directly outputted the output of the ls command into less so that we could view it or search it. So again here's an example where we're going to search, we're going to list everything that's in user bin. Here we just listed it to the screen uh, but if we wanted to then pipe it into another application like less where we could search it, right? So if we do that, we'll pipe it into ls and then we can search this for say emacs, right? So this would be a good way to determine if emacs is in user bin. You could use this as a search tool, right? Additionally, there's the t command. So the t command is uh, just a way that you can um, kind of split processes. So what this would do is it would list the uh, contents of user bin, and then you're going to pipe it into T, which basically allows you to redirect the output of user bin into a file called processes.txt. And then additionally, so it's going to go ahead and create that file, but additionally it will go ahead and then pipe also the output into less. And so again, uh, you know, previously what we did was we uh, redirected, so we'd say redirect the output into ls.out, okay? Um, but now what we'll do, and we'll go ahead, since ls.out exists, let's remove it so you can see what's going to happen here. We'll, um, we'll 
again list what's in user bin, piping it into t ls dot out, which will create that file, but then immediately piping that into less, right? And so now we're in less. We can search this file um, again for Emacs or whatever we want. We can quit it. Then you also see the output ls dot out was was uh, also listed to the file. Uh, a file was created ls dot out, which contains the same information that was directly imported into less. So it's just a way to, you know, as the name implies, T the pipe, right? So that one one side goes to do, you know, redirects to a file and the other side uh, takes the output directly into into less for, for viewing. Right. So these are pipes of redirects you can see as you begin to uh, take these little applications and do things with them. <clears throat> you can string them together to create uh, little f workflows where you're basically taking the output of one command and putting it into the input of another uh, and, and writing small command line programs this way.